it's not the most enjoyable thing, but I suppose it's built up over time, you know. It's all relative, I suppose, at the time, and not, not, not now. I'm a little bit more skinned now than I was then, but I had a fair bit of money. I mean, at the start, you know, you just I start gambling small and winning, and the figures just got bigger and bigger. The way I look at it is just a kind of figure, figure in my bank account. Uh, nothing in my life really changed. It got close to having to, you know, cut back on some stuff, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta weigh it up before you put the money down and assess what the losses will be if you lose it, and because it's a very real possibility. Even if you know you're putting a hundred grand on a spread, even if you think you're taking the best of it, you still only win sixty percent of the time, probably lose forty. So forty percent of the time, there's a very real possibility you're losing that money. So you gotta weigh that up before you go and put it down, and if you decide you can't deal with the consequences. Um, then don't put it down. But, you know, I'd certainly weigh up the consequences before I make the action, not think about it afterwards. So when it comes to pass, you know, just you got to swallow it. That's move on, put it out of your mind. I mean, yeah, you can't let it beat you up. But just how I make my money. I mean, I wouldn't do it if I was losing. It's a way of me physically putting food in my mouth. It's like, I don't, you know, they go and work 40, 50 hours a week. You know, I don't call that an addiction. Just because I enjoy my job doesn't make it an addiction. Uh, I, I just, you know, I wouldn't call them haters, but, you know, people who, like, kind of say that and kind of niggle at you, they're just kind of jealous, I suppose. They wish they were doing it themselves. So, I mean, if people want to have that conversation, I don't really bother getting it into them with it because, like, I mean, if they have that opinion.